Divine greetings, beautiful kings and queens. I'm so happy to be here with you today. I hope you're having a great day. And I'm sending you all my love, all my peace, all my good blessings on this beautiful day. And today I'd like to just share a simple message that I am putting into practice as we speak because I'm going through a little bit of an emotional rough patch, we would say. And as I am healing myself, I would like to welcome you into one powerful thing that has been helping me so much to stay anchored, to stay focused, and to stay positive. So with everything going on in the world right now, um, a lot of us light workers are feeling some massive upgrades, <laughs> massive energetic upgrades. And it doesn't always feel good. It doesn't always feel happy, right? Awakenings, real awakenings are kind of messy and they feel uncomfortable. So... I just wanted to come on and share with you that whatever you're feeling right now is okay and it's normal and have compassion for yourself. Really focus on self-love during this time. Focus on taking care of yourself, you know, like you would take care of a little child. And I need to say this to myself as well because I'm being a little bit hard on myself for you know, doing things like sleeping a little bit more than usual, um, feeling a little irritable, overeating, um, even though it is raw foods. Since my fast, I have definitely been indulging <laughs> in a lot of foods that are making me feel a little bit tired, like nuts, too much nuts, <laughs> too much nuts can do that, um, overdoing it with some of the avocados, um, I really need to focus on just loving myself through this process and through my weight gain as well, um, nurturing myself and accepting that it's all ebbs and flows and not like reverting back to negative um, thought patterns. So treating ourselves with a lot of love and gentleness is super important during these times. And nobody can tell you, you know, that your healing is wrong. Whatever you're choosing to do to heal at this time and to deal and to survive is your deal, <laughs> right? As long as it's not harming anybody else, it's all good, you know? And we really have to put in place some measures to uplift ourselves as much as possible and not get sucked back into those dark holes, perhaps, of depression. Um, I come from a history of depression, so this is what the raw foods have been helping me to do, is to uplift and uplevel, raise my vibration, and uh, overcome my depression. But I have some days where it's really challenging. I have some days like today where I just feel like... I just want to go back to bed <laughs> and I feel like um, it's really hard to stay focused and stay in my mission but that's why I'm making this video because I don't want to just share the good days I want to share some challenging times that I'm having as well because I'm human like everybody else and I'm going through the process like everybody else and the most important um, advice that I give myself every day and that I give to my friends whenever we are feeling like we're going under is to be grateful, you know, and focus on the gratitude inside our hearts. So we all have something to be grateful for, you know, from the moment we're alive, life is a miracle. And even though we have down days and days where you know, we don't look how we we don't like how we look, or we don't like how we feel, or we are not the best that we know we could be. That's okay. And the more we 
turn our hearts to our gratitude and to love for love for what God has given us right in this moment and accepting where we are at, accepting um, that, you know, without the sour, we can't have the sweet, you know, <laughs> without those down days, then we can't really appreciate the, the more joyful days. I mean, I'm having a joyful day. <laughs> it's just, um, I'm being a little bit hard on myself and a little bit in self-sabotage as well. I know certain things would be so beneficial for me and I've been resisting them a lot. So I'm making this video to motivate me and to hold me accountable to do things like, you know, exercising more, you know, that would make me feel better <laughs> or meditating longer every day. That would make me feel better. So I know all these things. I think we all do. <laughs> and it's like, how do we put them into practice every day consistently? How do we love ourselves consistently every day? And that's the work of the warrior. That's the work of the true queen. You know, the queen is the one who is brave enough to take on this um, responsibility for healing herself. And it doesn't mean it's always easy. It doesn't mean there's no emotional crisis or breakdowns or tears that will come or emotions that will be felt. On the contrary, when we go raw, <laughs> everything is more felt. Everything is more intense. And that's the beauty of it, is that um, my journey has been one of accepting my feelings exactly as they are and learning to love myself exactly as I am and not judging it. You know, if there's sadness that comes up, then I try to accept it as best, my ca as best I can, you know. The, the weight goes up on the scale. Okay, well, I have to accept it. It doesn't mean I'm not going to change it. But it means that I have to accept it first. And then the change will come from a place of self-love, not from a place of forcefulness or hatred towards myself, if that makes any sense. It has to come from a place of love. And so gratitude helps me come back to love. You know, I got close to where I got a beautiful place to stay. I got food to eat. I got friends around me. Um, there's love in this world. You know, there's a lot of craziness and there's a lot of beauty going on. There's a massive awakening happening. The world is shifting as are we. So awakenings are messy. Awakenings are not pretty. Um, and I just think there's like a lack in some of the spiritual communities where people including myself, have had a hard time coming on and being super real with what's going on, you know. Um, it's easy to share nice pictures and post our smiles and our happy days, and I don't really see that many people sharing that, you know, they feel like crap or they are feeling hopeless or, you know, like, they're overeating or they just binged or you know things like that um because we feel a lot of shame and we want to portray a certain image to people like hey i got it all together and look at me i'm this like ascended being or whatever not to say that we're not ascending we are all ascending but we all have things that we're working on i don't care how enlightened or how perfect somebody seems we're all going through something and some kind of challenge and for me one of those challenges has been food addictions it has been my eating disorder so um putting on weight after my water fast has definitely been a big challenge and i've kind of been in this cycle of like well at the beginning i was allowing myself to eat more because i had weight to put on and I've kind of like stayed in those habits over the last couple of weeks. And now I'm like coming to a point where I'm like, okay, whoa, whoa, that's, that's enough. That's enough now. Um, but even so, it's like, why am I being defined by a number on the scale? Or why am I being defined by my body even? Um, I wasn't attached to it when I was like losing all the weight. Why am I getting so attached to it when I'm putting it back on? So there's definitely some residual 
the thought patterns that are coming up and I'm challenging them. I'm not restricting. I am no longer purging. For those who don't know, I have struggled with bulimia for uh, probably 20 years of my life and it's been a it's been a journey it's been a battle of <laughs> loving myself through um through the foods and that's what raw living foods have helped me do and i haven't really felt those compulsions coming on until recently um and compulsions come from like the way we eat you know we could have like a big bowl of pineapple and eat it two different ways eat it nice and lovingly and calmly and we could also eat it like compulsively just like I don't have any end to you know the hole that I'm feeling inside and it's emotional um it's still all healthy foods however I'm noticing myself and my patterns of overeating to the point of feeling uncomfortable and feeling like um I don't like myself in that moment because I've overdone it. And even so, like do, overdoing it with raw foods is still better than doing it with junk food, you know? So if we are going to overdo it, let's do it with fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds. Um, but it's just where I'm at right now. I'm working on just like taking it a little bit more easy and not overdoing it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making any sense with that, but that's just where I'm at. Just certain habits like eating late at night, you know, um, I'm working through that. You know, I like to have some dates and nuts at night and it's like, no, <laughs> I shouldn't be doing that. I should be giving my body a rest from digestion after, you know, at least 7 p.m. or 8 p.m., um, which I'm not doing. And so it's affecting my sleep cycle. It's affecting my dream cycle. And how I wake up the next morning, like, you know, I'm like a little poofy in the face and I got circles under my eyes from eating a lot of salt and, and the dressings and things like that. So even within the raw foods, there's always like, there's always ways to improve ourselves. I'm not saying I just want to go on fruit um, or anything like that. I just want to heal the emotional part that's underlying the food compulsion right? Um, so definitely I am committing here to moving more. I'm committing here to chewing more my food and being more conscious of what I'm putting into my body and really asking myself, am I hungry? Am I full? I'm getting back in touch with my body. I feel like my cues have kind of been off since my water fast as well. So coming back to getting to know myself in a whole new way is challenging um so yeah just being more conscious of my food my movements always prayer meditation i've been doing that and i could do more of it i could definitely invest more time into my meditation practice into my prayer day during the day and my um contact my conscious contact with god is all the time um but i feel like sometimes when I go into the the food, it's kind of like I lose I lose that connection a little bit, and it's like okay, let me just do my own thing and go in this way. And I know God is like always guiding me to be more tempered and be more reasonable, um, and He always brings me back to love. And my overeating is not really in self love; it's like a kind of a punishment to myself. I almost want to feel uncomfortable. <laughs> so, but, you know, I've done so much progress. So I wanted to say this too, is to like notice how far we've come. Notice how far you've come in your journey that maybe you, you know, we all still have work to do that is natural, but also to notice where we came from, maybe like six months ago or a year ago, two years ago, and to not be so hard on ourselves. Um, I was joking with my friend today, <laughs> with Paula today, and saying, like, you know, we're talking about dates and nuts. Like, I'm freaking out. But, I mean, I was doing drugs a few months ago, so I'm doing all right. <laughs> I'm doing all right. And I need to be gentle with myself uh, moving forward. And it's important for me to share because as a, as a leader, as a teacher, it's important for you to see me um, going through it as well and how I'm going to get out of it. So 
Thank you so much for being here. And I'm happy I created this platform for all of us to do some healing work and to share honestly. And I will continue to do this so that we can all grow together and I can share, you know, from the heart, raw and unfiltered. So that's that's part of life. And um, denying it would only be denying myself and denying my journey and also denying you the possibility to take a peek into my real life and my true feelings. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you for being here. And I hope that you continue on your journey, loving yourself, being as kind and compassionate as possible. Write down your feelings. That helps me too, to write down my feelings, journal, and go for a walk. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go for a walk. (laughs) And yeah, I just do things that make me feel good instead of what make me feel um, bad and keep me in that loop. So action precedes motivation sometimes. Sometimes just taking that first step is what we need to get more motivation to to do it again and again. So I will take a walk, go into action, and hopefully that will create some more momentum for me to exercise more and take better care of myself today. I love you all, and I'm sending you all my blessings. And until the next one, take care. (laughs) 